Oras on Sinangabe, it's the city of South San Francisco. So here, it's legal for us to stop anybody we want. We gotta have a legal reason to do a CETISA. But uh, it's completely okay to talk to somebody consensually. Sa isinagawang business check ni Pinoy Patrol Officer Jeff Camelosa sa isang convenience store. Hoping there's somebody on probation. How are you doing? Can I talk to you for a second? You alright? Yeah. Up in your face. Oh, here? Here. I fell. Where'd you fall? I fell in San Bruno. Oh, okay. You have ID on you? No, I don't. I left it. You on probation or parole? I'm on probation. What are you on probation for? On probation ang napadaan lamang na babaeng ito. You're on probation for what? Um, just be honest, I'm gonna find no, out. I'm anyway. just saying, uh, I'm just trying to tell you what it is. For um, drugs? No, no, no. Theft? No, breaking and entering. Okay. okay. Why am I being stopped? I mean, all I'm doing is I'm gonna get this stuff. Conducting a business check. I just consensually contacted you, and I just want to make sure your face is alright because oh, that's yeah. not an injury. So, my concern, and then now you tell me I'm probation, so now I got a legal reason to detain you, right? You know how it works. Kinala ni Officer Camilosa, nasa impluensya ng ipinagbabawal ang droga ang subject. Have you ever been arrested for drugs? No. Yeah. Itinanggi naman ito ng subject, wala daw siyang record na may kinalaman so, sa droga. Just a, theft, just a theft related? Any weapons on you right now? Any knives? Any tools? I'm not saying I just come to the story. Just an investigation. I'll just, listen, Sharon, I gotta ask these questions, right? I gotta ask these questions. And you understand why you're on probation? Subalit sa impormasyon ng South San Francisco Communications Center o 911 na ibinato kay Officer Camilosa. So, you do have search and seizure and it's for, hold on, and it's for drug paraphernalia. You didn't tell me about that. Oh uh, no, I took the dad. I, I got out of jail. I took care of that. I fell down. Okay, down but you told me you didn't do drugs, drug paraphernalia. I'm not doing them. No, I'm not. Okay, but you have. I have been in the past. Okay. In the past, but well, not you, now. All right. Well, guess what? I'm just wanting to call so, you. So, Sharon. I need you to relax, because if you don't relax, I can't relax. Okay. Okay? You cooperate with me, I'm going to be cool with you. You got a deal? Right. Anything in your room? Nothing in your room? Absolutely nothing. Hindi agad sinimulang ni Officer Camilosa ang body frisking. I know. Well, I got to, hold on. I got to wait for another person. Department of Policy. Minabuti niyang kumuha ng babaeng backup na siyang magsasagawa ng body search sa babaeng subject. Dalawang patrol officer ang dumating upang bumakap kay Officer Camilosa. Keep your hands visible. Good luck, I got her key. I'm gonna check it out. She said she's got meth and... Maingat niyang isinagawa ang body search sa subject dahil wala pang babaeng patrol officer na magsasagawa ng frisking dito. Anything sharp? Any needles in here? It's kind of heavy. What's in here? How come you told me you don't do uh, dope when you got a meth pipe? You don't wish for a meth pipe. You have a meth pipe in the room. I'm gonna get a female officer here. I'm gonna give you this opportunity to be honest with me because she's really good at finding stuff. Uh, I'll even bring a canine over here. You can find. It. You can. They can. The, the dogs can't find it on you. Is there anything concealed? The undergarments, your bra. in your pocket. Right. I'd rather be safe than uh, just wait for the female. Maya, maya lang dumating na ang babaeng patrol officer. Do me a favor, just go ahead and enter your pocket slowly. Right. Turn it inside out, let's just smell it in here. Agad sinimula ng body frisking sa subject. Listen, Sharon, I'm gonna use the back of my hand, alright? I'm empty bag. She's saying she wasn't there. Uh, On probation, ang subject na si Sharon. Kinakailangan halugugin ang mga patrol officer ang kanyang kwarto at mga gamit. Isa itong kasunduan sa korte sa kanyang pansamantalang kalayaan. Nothing in my back seat, okay? So when you get up, it's gonna look just like that, right? Alright, perfect. Go have a seat. Kaya't pinuntahan ni Officer Camilosa kasama ang team ride along ang hotel na inupahan ang subject nung gabing yun. She happened to stay over here at the Lux Inn. Room 168, she's got a room key. So we're gonna go search her room now, see if there's any illegal drugs. She's already telling me that yes, there might be something there. Anybody? Yeah. 
everybody else in there and last chance. Do a knock and talk real quick. We'll be doing a probation search for room 160. Gano tayong sitwasyon ng mga nasa probation. Tulad itong subject ngayon, inutuban ni Officer Jeff Malosa at na-chempohan niya sa isang convenience store. At ginawa nila yung search. Pinapayagan sa batas dito sa US na kapag ang isang nasa probation, conditional lang talagang paglaya. Lahat ng mga bagay dapat na susundin. Kaya lang kapag ikay nakita ng bagay na kaduga-duga, pwedeng isagawa yung search bahay mo, sakyan mo, sa mga gamit mo sa loob ng iyong mga damit. So, titingnan natin yung kung ano makikita natin. Police Department. Yeah. Agad hinanap ni Camilosa ang bag ng subject na pinaglalagyan ng droga at proper ng ilihan. This one? No, black bag. Oh, so you got the meth for your girlfriend, but you carried it on your person. Oh, your girlfriend got the meth. Where's your girlfriend at? Isang sa shay at tube pipe ang nakuha mula sa bag ng subject. Di la talaga gamit lamang sa mga ito. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Honest God, I do not. I have not smoked it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. See this? Yeah. That's loaded. 10-15. Could you smoke that? No, honest God, I didn't know that was loaded. For now, I'm going to put your handcuffs, okay? I'm going to do that. Malungkot pong nangyari na to. Simpleng hinaalala. Tama ang duda. Ang tawagin ko sa atin. So, nakikaan ng droga sa loob ng kanyang kwarto. Pinita ka ngayon. Magbunga yung mga pagtsatsaga nitong si... Jeff Camilosa is a backup patrol officer in South San Francisco. So, I was in the car and I was looking for what I could see. But I was sure that he was going to be able to do it. Because when you are in probation, it's conditional to be able to do it. You can cancel it when you see it, when there is a drug, when there is a violation. I was sure that in the condition, it was given to you. Because it was just to be able to do it. nilabag siya, kansin yung droga, ay ganun pa. Tuloy pa rin sa kanyang bisyo. You've been advised of your charges, right? Possession of uh, controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? You have got to say yes or no. You have the right to the presence of an attorney before and during any questioning. Do you understand? If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you for your charge before any questioning if you want. Do you understand that? Right. So at this point, you're no longer communicating until you're you're properly processed at the county jail. So at that point, we can't do this. It's off the top place, all right? Yeah, I had a feeling she didn't really want to go inside or not talk just yet. Yeah, it just comes from instinct and experience. Just how people react around you. So you just got to be able to, as much as possible, I try to read that and start developing ways, proceeding by the book and, you know because when this goes to court the first thing they're gonna ask me is why did you stop my client 